whether you experience it or not, whether you realize it or not, the true state you are enlightened. All you need to do is reclaim. Even if you don't reclaim, it will be there, that's all. You don't even have to put pressure on yourself. I have to reclaim and express my enlightenment. Just know you have abundance. Simply you will start expressing it. Just relax. You have enlightenment. Whether you realize or not, you are connected to that ocean. You can't exist as an island even for a moment. You can't exist as an individual even for a second. You can't exist You can't exist separate. You can't exist away from the truth. Even while you think you are away from it. The truth of pure knowing, the truth of pure experience descends on you. Once you understand, you raise in the ocean, you live inside the ocean and you relax into the ocean. People come and ask me, Swamiji, all these great things are okay. I understand. But unless I experience it, will I not go through suffering, pain, when I leave the body, when I die? It should all become an experience in me. I tell you, this very understanding is so powerful. It will transform the quality of your suffering. It will transform the quality of your pain. If you don't have these understandings, all your sufferings will lead to more and more sufferings. If you have this understanding, all your sufferings will trigger this understanding. It will not lead to more and more understanding. That is the greatness of Satya. Understand? You will never be the same again. After listening to these truths, you will never be the same again. Without these truths in your life, when pains and suffering come, you will try to escape from it. By Just by trying to escape, you will create more and more clutches and pains and suffering towards you. With this knowledge, they will not trigger the mechanism of escaping. They will trigger the mechanism of Accepting, surrendering the truth. That is the greatness of this knowledge. Anybody who has heard the truth, even if he does not experience in his life, even if he has not experienced, just heard it sincerely, felt connected with it, whenever he goes through suffering, only the truth is triggered. Only these high ideals are triggered in him. He starts moving towards these great things. Not towards the ordinary mundane things of escaping or creating more and more clutches. The greatness of these truths is even suffering or pain is used as a bridge, as a technique to achieve the higher states of consciousness, higher states of enlightenment. Remember this only one thing, whether you believe it or not, you are in the ocean. You have never become separate. You are never away from the ocean. You are never away from the consciousness. I can add any number of words. But I do not want to leave you with my words. I want to leave you with Mahavira's words. He is so perfect. He has expressed it so clearly. Even after 2500 years, I can't develop it. We can't add few more words to it. He is so clear. That's the reason I feel at last. I can't comment. I can't add. He is so pure, so clear. There is nothing much to explain. There is nothing much to comment. 
all we can do repeat those words with reverence and respect and digest those great truths with reverence and respect and relax into those words with the trust and deep devotion they will work on us they will penetrate and do the miracle of transformation inside our being there is one more beautiful sutra before ending i just wanted to repeat that sutra and then we'll end the session i surrender to the arhantas i surrender to the siddhas i surrender to the sadhus i surrender to the dharma arhante saranam bavachami सिद्धे शरणम बवच्छा साहू शरण बवच्छा केवली बन्नतम शरण बवज्जा दिस इज काल शरणागति सूत्र टू थिंग इफ यू फील कॉन्फिडेंट फीलिंग कनेक्टेड वेन यू लिसन द ट्रूथ यू आर ओशन even when you don't believe it you are never separated wave is never separated from the ocean if you feel connected to this truth beautiful just leave it if you feel that is too much you are not able to really feel connected to those words then catch this truth surrendering if you feel connected to the truth then start expressing it you are already enlightened nothing else needs to be done if you feel it is too much means you are ego centered you are not able to feel connected to the truth then the technique method for you is saranagati then surrender to the arhantas siddhas sadhus and to the dharma see person who is supposed to go in the path of self knowledge they will feel connected something will click in them the moment they listen the example the wave is never separated from the ocean they will think yes true then how can i be separated from my source i am connected to it suddenly you will see so many doubts and difficulties which you always carry relaxes disappears and you settle down if that happens in you just live that same peace and the truth express it if you feel it is yet to happen then surrender is the path for you surrender your body mind everything at the feet of the great masters surrender to arhantas surrender to siddhas surrender to sadhus surrender to the dharma actually at least our disciples you would have heard always lot of words from me so you may be thinking now also i should add add more and more words but i feel adding more and more words may not help at least with these great sutras with these great sutras the very sutras are more powerful so straight so beautiful all you need to do is carry one understanding that itself will help you that itself will liberate you that will do what has to be done if i leave you with too many words and techniques you will not carry even a single word inside your being you will not carry even a single truth inside your being you will not allow anything to work on you so now i want to leave you with one truth one great truth an understanding whether you understand or not whether you believe it or not whether you experience it or not you are never away from your source wave is never disconnected from the ocean it is always connected so whether you believe it or not 
understand it or not, experience it or not, you are enlightened. Just carry this one truth and express your enlightenment. Whatever way you can, express your enlightenment in your life. Express this truth when you relax and trust that you are connected to the source. Suddenly you will see all your insecurity, fear, greed which comes out of fear, everything disappears. And you start living totally different kind of a life with a different understanding. So, all Mahavir wants to happen is that transformation. All these sutras are given to us for that transformation. Let that transformation happen in you all. That transformation is the root. That transformation is the base for everything. So, here I leave you with less words but with one great truth. Understand I can say more and more words, but your minds are habituated to sit and listen more and more words, but never practice. The more words you listen, you feel a kind of a satisfaction. You did what is supposed to, what you are supposed to do. You feel kind of a satisfaction that whatever has to happen has happened. Now you don't need to do anything. You go with a feeling, oh, everything is over. But I tell you, just the words are not going to enough. That is the reason. Now I am going to end without giving you much words. Giving you one simple truth. So that this truth will work on you. See, only when you feel that if I speak as usual for hours, the end of the discourse, you will, oh, Swamiji spoke beautifully. He spoke well. You will be talking, but you will never allow these truths to work on you. If I leave with this one truth, the truth will be just working on you constantly. You will be thinking, why you finished with this one word? What must be the reason? So that gap is enough for me and this truth to work on you. Understand, I do not want to load you with too many words. I have done that for last six days. You heard enough. Now it is time you contemplate on this one truth, on this one word, whether you understand or not, Experience it or not, believe it or not, you are connected to your source. The wave is connected to the ocean, you are enlightened. Maybe we will take few minutes, just sit with closed eyes, with this one truth. Then we will enter into the meditation. Before entering into the meditation, just sit for few minutes with this great truth. Let it work on you. Contemplate on this one truth. Just for two minutes. Please close your eyes. Remember. Contemplate this one truth. You are enlightened. Allow your mind to bring all controversial thoughts. If your mind does not accept, if your mind says no, it's okay. Allow all the thoughts to come up. Even if your mind does not accept, you are enlightened. You are not going to lose it by your mind not accepting it. So, even if your mind says no, it's okay. Just sit with this one truth.
ఓం వీల్ ఎంటర్ ఇంటర్ ద నిత్య ధ్యాన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద మెడిటేషన్ వీల్ ఎండ్ ద సెషన్ విత్ అ ఫ్యూ గ్రేట్ వర్డ్స్ ఆఫ్ మహావీరా we will repeat those words and offer our respects then end the session this meditation is a half an hour technique i think we did yesterday today i'll explain i'll just give the instruction if you don't if you think you will not have time or if you are not interested you can leave the hall others please get ready we'll start the meditation please understand it is a five step first step sitting in vajrasana and chaotic breathing intense breathing second step intense humming third step putting your awareness on every energy center fourth step just sitting unclutched without allowing any chain of thoughts formation and fifth step sitting with a deep prayerful mood understand first step let your whole being become breathing second step let your whole being become humming third step let your whole being become an awareness in every energy center fourth step let your whole being become just awareness no thought not pointed or directed towards anything fifth step just deep feeling connection with the existence with a deep prayerful mood sit please close your eyes carry this one truth this one message you are always connected to the source wave is never away from ocean you are enlightened let you carry this one truth let this one truth work on you and lead you to awakening let you all be awakened let us offer our gratitude to all the great masters to mahavira through this saranagadi sutra and namokar mantra arhante saranam bhavajjami siddhe saranam bhavajjami సాహూ శరణం భవజ్జామి కేవలీ పన్నత్తదమ్మ శరణం గచ్చామి భవజ్జామి నమో అర్హంతానం నమో సిద్ధానం 
நமோயரியானம் நமோ உபஜாயானம் நமோலோயே சவ்வசாகூனம் ஏசோ பஞ்சநமக்காரோ சவ பாவபனாசனோ மங்களானாம் ச சவேசிம் பதமம் அவை மங்களம் we thank with our gratitude and with our heartfelt gratitude the jain center and the association and the committee which runs this whole temple and organization for making this whole thing possible and all the volunteers and all the devotees who worked for the success of this program and all the devotees who came here and heard these great sutras all these six days we thank with our claps to jain association and jain center for <laughs> making this whole thing possible so essence of the jain sutra is you are awakening you are never away from the source you are enlightened carry this one truth even if your mind does not agree don't try to convince your mind just carry this truth simply you will see this truth expresses itself in your body through your mind let you all radiate eternal bliss nityananda thank you